Now the next topic is collecting. So when does this collecting happen? Now we have partitioned the data. We want the data sage job to perform fast. So we wanted to apply parallelism. Pipeline parallelism was already there. We added the partitioning. We defined a partitioning technique. So now there are multiple streams of data being processed by the same stage by different nodes simultaneously. So we have a faster running job. So when does this need for collecting come? Collecting comes when you are writing to your source, your final target stage. So you might need to process your data sequentially. Most importantly, when we are writing to sequential stages, like a sequential file. Now, our output target is a file. A file is, how do we define a file in data stage? Using a sequential file stage. A sequential file has no parallelism. So now all that data that was coming in within multiple streams from the previous stages has to be collected into a single stream and put into a sequential file. Now for this as well, if it doesn't really matter what order is our data in, in the output file, we can just let it be, let it be auto. And most of the time, the auto method would be round robin and the data would be sent to your target stage, target file. But if there's a specific requirement to have data in certain order in the sequential file, then we can specify some collecting methods as well. They're similar to the partitioning method that we saw earlier. So the first one is the round robin. Round robin, you can simply see the first record from the first node goes as the first record in your output file. Then the first record from the second node goes as the second record in your output file. Then the first record from the third node goes as the third record in your output file. The first record from the fourth node as a fourth record in the output file, and so on the cycle repeats. So this is your round robin method of collection, wherein the first record from the first node goes, then the first record from the second node, then the first record from the third node, then the first record from your nth number of node goes, and then the second record gets picked up from each of the nodes, then the third record gets picked up from each of the nodes and gets returned to your output sequential file stage. Now, there's another requirement wherein we want all the records from node one to end up first in the output uh, file, output target stage, and then all the records from the second stage to be written. Then you can define your ordered method of collection, wherein whatever number of nodes you have, all the records from the first node would be written first, then from the second node, then from the third node, and so on. So this is your ordered collection method. And then again, those were basically keyless collection methods. We have a key-based collection method as well, wherein we want to sort the data based on some key columns. So here we have this example. We have three partitions coming from our source data. We have partition zero, we have partition one, partition two. We have defined some records for those partitions. So those partitions have these values, three records with some different values. Now in sorted merge, we need to define the key column based on which we want to do our collection. So we have defined the primary collecting key here, as we can see, as the age. So it would sort on stage, and this is sorted merge. So this is a sorted data set. We would sort on stage, and then pick our data to be written to the target stage. When we sort on stage, we see 34 is the lowest value, so that record comes first. Then we have two values for the same age value, which is 42. In this case, we have defined basically two collection keys. So there's a secondary collection key as well, as we can see here, which is the last name. So for the values, for the records, which have the same age values, we now check the secondary key value, which is the last name. So Davis and Smith, again, they're sorted in ascending order. So the D record gets picked first, which is the Davis record and then Smith. So this is how your output looks like. You can define any keys. You can sort it in another order if you want. You can define uh, the last name as the first key, uh, as a primary key, and age as a secondary key. So all those key combinations depend on your requirement for writing data to the output. But basically, when there is a requirement to sort data in some key-based order, for the output target stage, then we can go for the sorted merge stage.
So these are basically the collection methods as well. So these are all very simple, but these are very important concepts in data sage parallel job. And we need to be clear with these concepts to be able to define the partitioning method and the collection methods uh, correctly. Most, most of the time, there's all only a requirement for defining the partitioning method, but there is a very important, uh, they're very important to define them correctly to be able to get the correct output records. So this is all for this session. Thank you for watching.